originally presented in Seattle but transferred to New York City in 1985. The opening scene of the play takes place on a battered bench in an isolated path at the edge of Central Park Lake, early October 1982. It is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Three, two elderly men are dealing with problems that come with being elderly and alone. Midge, black, wears very thick bifocals and an old soft hat and is reading the sporting news. Nat, about 80 years old and white, is seated across the bench for a match. He wears a barrette and has a finely trimmed beard. A cane with elegant ivory handle is resting next to him. So this is where it starts with Nat and Mitch. I'm Nat? You're Nat. Okay, where was I? Where the hell was I? What were we talking about? I was just about to make a very important point here. What were we talking about? He continues to read his newspaper for a moment. He oh, wants... you don't have to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, once you start to play, you don't read the stage directions. You just go continue. We wasn't talking. You was talking. I wasn't talking. Okay, so what was I saying? I wasn't listening either. <laughs> you was doing the whole thing by yourself. Why weren't you listening? Because you're a goddamn liar. I'm not listening to you anymore. Two days now, I ain't been listening. Stop pretending to read. You can't see anything. Hey, how about you go sit with them old dudes in front of the welfare hotel? Them old butter brains. The babies at the carousel, them kids in the boat, and some of them junky folk yonder. Why don't you go mess with them? Because I'm not talking to you anymore, mister. Putting you on notice of that. You may as well be talking to that tree over there. It's a lamppost. Sitting here a week now, ain't heard a word truth out of you. Sucking me every which way till the sun go down. I demand an explanation of that statement. Okay, wise ass. For example, you, are you, or are you not an escaped Cuban terrorist? I am not. Okay, and your name ain't Hernando? Absolutely not. So it's a lie. It's a cover story. My line of work, they give you a cover story. Are you saying... All I'm saying... All I'm saying is that my particular field, you've got to have a cover story. More than that, I can't divulge at the present time. Honey bun, you saying you were a spy? I'm saying my name is Hernando, and I'm an escaped Cuban terrorist. <laughs> but what kind of weirdo bullshit cover story is that? You don't think I said that to them? That's what I said to them. I said to them, an 81-year-old Lithuanian is a Cuban Hernando. That's right. They said, tough. Luck, sweetheart, yours is not to reason why. That's how they talk. Of course you don't believe it. You think I believe it? Such dopes. But it's a living. I beg you not to inquire further. Bullshit. Bullshit. Wait, wait. Where are you at? That's the page of maybe missing. Maybe you're missing 18. Page 18? No, I got 17. Where's 18? You should be on 16. You got 16? Oh, that's the way it's missing. Okay, so, so you just share that script with Oh, you. wait a minute. Maybe I do. Yeah, I have 16. Okay, you But go. why they pick an old... Do I know? You tell me. A year ago, I'm standing in line at the Medicaid. A fella comes up to me. Boom! I'm an undercover. Lord. Who knows? Maybe they got something. They found an old man. Nobody will pay attention. Could wander through the world like a ghost. Pick up some tidbits. Yeah. So maybe they got something. Even though I grant you they screwed up the cover story, all I know is every month a thousand bingos is added to my social security check. Bingos? Bingos, dollars, cash. It's a word we use in the business. Please don't inquire further. Please, I'm not at liberty. Okay, they also gave me a code name. <laughs> Harry. Harry? Harry Schwartzman. What's your real name? Sam Schwartzman. Can you believe it? Can you believe it that some imaginative group, they got up there, right? That's some bunch of geniuses. What the hell? A thousand bananas on your Social Security every month? You don't ask fancy questions. Best not. Best not. So, do you ever pick up any information for them? Are you kidding? 
sitting on a bench all day with a man who can't tell a tree from a lamppost? Not a shred. Fact is, I think they got me in what they call deep cover. See, they keep you in this deep cover for years, like five, maybe ten years, they keep you there till you're like this regular person in the neighborhood. And then, boom, they pick you up for the big one. Considering my age and general health, they're not too bright. Okay, snack time. Yeah, deep cover. I heard of that. Yeah. Tuna salad and lettuce and tomato and whole wheat toast. Take half. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Yeah. Comes 3 o'clock, there's nothing like a nice, fresh tuna salad sandwich. Uh-huh. Crisp. Bullshit. Oh, that's, that's me. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> Lord, you've done it to me again. You've done it. Throw sandwich away. Promised myself I wouldn't let you, and you've done it again. Deep cover. <laughs> Harry Schwartzman. Bingos. You've done it again. That was nice. A long story. Lasted a long time. That's it. That's it. No more conversing. Conversing is over now, mister. No more. Ain't riffing me no more. Please control yourself. Move it, boy. Away with you. This here is my spot. Sir, I was merely... Get off of my spot before I lay you out. Your spot? Who made it your spot? Show me the plaque. Where does it say that? It says right here. You read them hands, study them hands, boy. Them hands wore golden gloves, summer of 19 and 24. This here's my spot. Been my spot six months now. My good and peaceful spot till you show up week ago, start playing three-card Monty with my head. Want you gone, Sonny. Giving you three to make dust. Coming out of the count of three. One. Wait. A brief discussion. Sound of the bell, I'm coming out. You won't hear it, but I will, too. How are you going to hit me if you can't see me? Drop Billy DeMotta in the sixth round with both eyes swole shut. I keep punching till I hear crunching. Three. Please, sir. This is an embarrassing demonstration. Okay, coming out. Coming out. Coming at you, boy. Coming at you. Sir, you have a very depressing personality and a terrible attitude. Prepare yourself, mister. Prepare yourself. Oh, it's your own. Sh oh, shit. And there he is. Yeah, because he has a heart attack. Yeah. Uh, he collapses, and that's why he goes on shit. Cute. Yeah. Um, when I, I did it with my one group.